Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how to create a before and after right here in the Lightroom. So the first thing I want to do is I can right click on the image itself or right here on the icon and what I want to do is I want to create a new virtual copy and as you can see we've got two copies right here now. So we've got the original and virtual copy and I'm going just to do some quick adjustments so we can see the before and after. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to set the white balance something like so. I'm just I'm happy with exposure, add some contrast, bring down a bit of the highlights, make sure I've got nice blacks, make sure I've got nice whites, and that's fine. I'm going to add a bit of clarity because I love clarity. And now I won't just come here into effects and just add a bit of vignette, something like so, and add a bit of sharpening as well. So something like this. And let's say I'm done. So I'm happy with this result. We have before and after. But now I want to export this as a JPEG so I can show it online. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select right here these two images. So the original file and the virtual copy and I'm going into print module and as you can see it doesn't look right but bear me with it for a second because it will look so I'm going to click right here page setup I'm going to change to, to landscape I'll click OK and it's looking better uh, also I'm going to untick rotate to fit and right here on the layout I want to have two columns because I want before and after. So now I'll come all the way down and by default under the print job panel you see print, print to printer. You click and change to JPEG. So now it's all good. You can adjust the file resolution if you'd like. So let's say I want 72 dpi and uh, I can print sharpening the media type the quality of JPEG itself and I can print a file and I just go into before and after I'll click save and now um, Lightroom it's doing its thing rendering the image and put it, all of this in one image so I'm going to minimize it and as you can see before and after right here and as you can see uh, at much lower resolution because I told Lightroom to do it so another way to do it is I'm just going back to my develop module and uh, I'm just going to remove this one here from the catalog so remove the virtual copy and we are back where we were at the beginning and let's say I want to do the same, th exactly the same thing so I'm just going like so, like so add some contrast, add a bit of clarity and a bit of sharpening and add a bit of vignette and now I realize I wanted to show uh, like what I've done, the before and after but I didn't create a virtual copy before so it's very simple. I can come here, right click, create a virtual copy and now I can go back to the original and under the history menu I can just come here into import because it was the first step uh, that I did with this image so it didn't apply any changes and we've got the before and after once more select them both, print and because we set it up before it's just a matter of checking if it's if I'm happy with everything print to file and there you go very quick very easy that's it for now thanks for watching bye for now